Welcome to Mother, Mother Daughter Projects. Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're going to install an Ecobee smart thermostat at Mom's house. So Mom, why do you want a smart thermostat? Well, on occasion it's really too warm at night and I really don't want to get up and have to turn the thermostat out. And with this I can just go to my phone and adjust the temperature and never have to get out of bed one time. Well, let's get started. Okay. So this is for your house, so I say why don't you go ahead and install it? And I'll stand by and watch. Really? Go for it. No. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I have to do it? Yes, it's for your house. Why don't you want to do it? Because you're here, you can do it. But don't you think it'd be impactful for people your age to see you install it yourself? Okay, should I install it myself? Do it, do it. <sighs> okay, peer pressure. Daughter pressure. Yeah, even worse. Okay, so the first step is we want to read the instructions. So you've got the top off. What do you see here? It says to download the Ecobee app to begin your installation. It's telling me to choose a model, and I'm choosing the Ecobee 3. And I'm going to click on that. Looking at the picture of the app and comparing that to all the things out of the box, looks like I have everything I need. So I'm ready to start. First, we turn off the power to the HVAC system. Then we remove the old cover. Next, we identify the wiring that the old system had. W1, Y for yellow, G for green, and B for blue. Mom removed and labeled each wire according to where they were on the old thermostat. We remove the old thermostat back plate and chose the larger trim plate for the Ecobee. Mom inserted each wire into the matching terminals on the Ecobee. Pop on the face plate. Power on your system! Yay! Success! Mom also set up the included sensor. This sensor can be placed in any room to help control when the system is active. Mom placed it in her bedroom. What, what we, we learned. learned. So mom did a great job taking over this project and setting everything up, but we did run into a snag. And basically there's this wire called the C wire that you need to have in order for the Ecobee to be powered up. Our old thermostat did not have the C wire. So what they required was us to go to the actual HVAC system, which is normally in a garage or an attic. And it's basically the unit that is that actually heats and cools your house. Well, as luck or unluck <laughs> would have it, it was in the attic. <laughs> so I decided I was not going in the attic. I will go up and look, but I'm not gonna go up in the attic. So I sent Steph up there to take a look. And the first thing that we encountered, the first snag that we encountered was we realized it was a gas powered unit. So we didn't know whether we could safely take that access panel off without turning the gas on. So we put in a call to mm -hmm. Ecobee and explained the situation. And they said, as long as we have everything, all the power off, we can safely open that access panel and take a look at the inside. And the second issue you ran into is once we opened up the access panel, we looked at the control panel where all the wiring was, there was already a blue wire connected to the C wire terminal. So we sent pictures to the company saying, hey, we just want to see, you know, what, what does all this mean? So basically what they said is your blue wire is already set to be your C wire. So that meant we could close everything up in the HVAC system, come back down into the hallway and continue working. We had to do some touch-up paints around the edge and we didn't have touch-up yeah. paint. So what I would recommend is make sure you have paint on hand before you even get started with this so that it can be a little faster process. Yes, <laughs> yes. So mom, you pretty much took the lead on this. You did this yourself. So how do you feel about doing this? We well, you know there's always that moment when you do something and you get ready to power it on, you power it on and it works. And it's always such an exciting moment to know that you, you did that and it works. And this was the same sort of thing. It was very empowering to do that. And be, except for that little snag that we hit with the wiring, it's something I could have actually done all by myself. And this is a very doable project for people my age. Mm -hmm. And one thing I would say is if you're interested in getting the Ecobee or any smart thermostat, you can actually download the app ahead of time and you can go through the setup process without even having the Ecobee and without taking anything off of your thermostat. 
So you could go ahead and take a look at how all the wiring goes and if you have questions you can contact the company before you even purchase the device to see if it's something you can do yourself. For more tech projects like this, visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com. First thing first is we want to read the instructions. Okay. So why don't you open it up? Well, already there's a problem. I don't have my glasses. <laughs> well, go get your glasses. <laughs>